Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. And today I just wanted to show you real quick what I had planned to use up for my Use It Up 2020 challenge. I realized last month that I really should probably show you what I'm planning on using so it's a little more impactful when I show you how I used it or what all I made. So again, this is my little tray, that my beautiful tray that my husband made me. And I just kind of put everything that I plan to use up this month, you know, or whatever month in the tray pull it out as I want to use it, put the finished products kind of back in underneath and kind of keep working through it that way. So the first two things that I have planned on using up in March are these Doodlebug Simply Put 4x6 album, album inserts and their springtime theme. And they are from like 2014. That's what a lot of the, the little journal cards are dated. So I'm gonna try and see if I can't use these on some spring Easter cards, projects, pages, and I can always cover up the dates if I have to, you know, cover them up with or cut it off somehow. Still use those even though they have an old year on it. And then I also have some random spring stickers and embellishments here that I pulled out that I want to use because I think the pad that I chose to use for the smash that small paper pad collab with Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage. She or that pad I chose is a spring theme pad and I don't have it here with me but it's like pinks and purples and some pastels and so I'm hoping I can kind of use this you know somehow incorporate these with that pad and I know I should be able to use some of these other embellishments because they are pastel as well. So this is just a random spring sticker that I hadn't used. It's been in my stash for a while. Some pretty, like a little bouquet from Jolie's. And it's, oh, Vasive Daisies is what it says. And it's from 2002. And then I have some more leaving prints. Just some die cuts that I had left from, oh, die cut sheets. So kind of pretty pastel. This one is, geez. This one is spring, so I have four of those. <laughs> they do not want to stay in my hand. Another little random flower type die cut. And then two little spring theme stickers left on this dimensional sticker sheet from Provo Craft Standouts. And they are from 2003. So that is the stickers, kind of like the random spring pieces that I plan on using up in conjunction with my Smash That Small paper pad projects. And then for 10 on the 10th, I pulled out some, just some random like loose papers from my drawers. I realized last month that whenever I do my pad projects, you know, I'm so focused on just using the paper pads that I also need to focus on using up some of the loose paper in my drawer. So the 10 on the 10th club hosted by Metal Scrap and Chick is one way that I'm hoping to be able to get through some of my Christmas papers, at least out of that loose paper drawer. So I started with this, I had a few pieces left of this Bow Bunny back to basics collection and like here's one it's called Nick's Toyland and it's like just vintage Santa and then like this green pattern on the background and then I also have like this darker green and this one actually yeah I think it's from the same collection sugar yeah Saint Nick and this is the sugar plum so it's like the dark green polka dots on one side and then kind of a scrolly, more of a formal pattern on the back side. And then I also had just some random strips here of this one, which was like a cream and red pattern on one side and then these stripes on the other. So I, had, I started with those and then realized I probably needed to incorporate some more papers in with that. So I just kind of pulled out some other papers from my stash that were, I think, from some random pad, but it was no longer with anything else from that pad. So I have that red pattern. I pulled out like this green Happy Holidays script pattern. 
And then this is just some, um, it's a Christmas kind of book page, Twas the Night Before Christmas book page type pattern. And then just some other random green pattern pieces in from that stash. And then I also found some stickers. I, these I originally had with that Bow Bunny collection. They're not Bow Bunny, they were from the paper studio, but they're called Christmas Tradition stickers. And it's again, the vintage Santa. Oh, and these are from 2008. And then I also found some other dimensional stickers in my stash that I think I inherited from my mother-in-law. Um, they're like chipboard dimensional. But again, kind of that vintage Santa feel, so I figured I could use those along with the paper and come up with at least 10 cards, probably more for the 10 on the 10th collab that Kim hosts. So that helps me kind of work through my loose paper stash. And then something else that I'm trying to be more focused on using this year are the card kits in my stash. So I know we just went from spring to Christmas and now we're going to jump back to spring. And this is a Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit and it was from April, I don't know which year, 2017 or 18. And it's just got some cardstock pieces and then there are four collections and they are all spring themed oh and there's some extra um, dimensional not dimensional gosh oh it's an embossed that's the word I'm looking for embossed cardstock so great for a card mat I don't know if that's showing up but so like I said, it's spring themed, so I decided to go ahead and pull this one out and finish using it. I have started using it uh, last year, I think. I used one, started using one of the collections, and so I figured I'd pull it out and try and finish it up. So that kind of got a little long, but that is the kit that I plan to use up along with this It's All About the Boys kit that I started in January. Got most of the way through in February, but I still need to finish that one up in March as well. So there will be two, hopefully two, Flavor of the Month kits that I work through this month. But I am excited about all that I have to work on. And I just wanted to show you what it is that I'm starting with. And then I will come back and show you at the what I end up making with all these fun goodies. Okay, here are my empties. I had a very productive march on using stuff up. And I think part of it was this with the whole coronavirus thing. Whenever I'm stressed or worried, I tend to try and keep myself busy to keep my mind off of things. And since everything has been canceled, we've had lots of time at home. And so I have just thrown myself into working on using up my stash this month. So. Here is what I used up, and I even used up some extra stuff that I hadn't thought I would. So, <clears throat> I used up this, it was a sheet of Susan Branch stickers with the March theme. And I don't know what year this was from, but it's been in my stash for a long time. Some calendar, these were part of a page, like sticker a day calendar page that I had. This was, I don't know what this was, some random stickers, and I used up some magnetic clips from Eye Candy from 2005. There's a little Jolie's thing that I had pulled out to use up. It was a little bouquet of flowers. This was an extra sheet that I used up, some more Susan Branch stickers. This doesn't have a date either that I can see, but again, been in my stash for a long time. It was like vegetables and gardening. The Christmas stickers that I had determined to use up from Paper Studio, I used those. These were an extra one that I used up, and this was Celebrate Easter Paperclip Bows from Echo Park. This was in one of the Echo Park boxes, warehouse boxes I got last year. And then I did use up all of the little miscellaneous spring stickers that I had pulled out. These are tear strips and what's left of the Christmas paper that I had wanted to use. 
And then of these, simply put four by six album inserts, like the journal cards, the spring themed ones, I used everything but this one. So I'm fine putting that back in just my miscellaneous journal card stash. So that's what I used. Let's see what I made. We'll start with the Christmas papers and the stickers that I had used up. These are what I used for the 10 on the 10th, and I showed these cards in my 10 on the 10th video. And then these were some extra ones that I had used, using up some extra paper that I had pulled out and just wanted to finish off. So I made, I think it was this paper, this word paper that I had pulled out to use for my use it up, but it didn't really fit with some of the other papers that I had wanted to use once I really got into it. So I had to pull out another sheet for my stash and then determined to use it up as well. <coughs> so just use the kind of the word, the Christmas word, the newsprint paper as my card mat and then the striped paper as my focal point. On these here, I just stamped on a craft tag, used a strip of the paper for to kind of finish off the card mat over here because this this newsprint paper wasn't big enough to go all the way across. This is the back side of the stripe paper, and then just layered my tag on there. And then just to add a little bit to the tag, I did add some nouveau do, nouveau drops in white diamond there. Here on my little gingerbread man, I added some Nouveau drops and then added some drops around him just to give the gingerbread man a little sparkle, a little detail. Same thing on this one and another one of those tags. So I got another six Christmas cards out of that extra like sheet that I had pulled out. And also I decided to go ahead and get a head start on my hot cocoa pouches for the Christmas time and so since I had this paper <coughs> pulled out I used the bulk of it to do these and I think I had two sheets of this paper so I just used my silhouette to cut out a pouch and then added a printed sentiment here or a, just like a round Christmas hot cocoa image that I had printed from my silhouette and I cut it out with a stitch circle die and then layered it on just some of that the back side of the paper. Here I used the scraps of the newsprint and then on this one I pulled out there's some cards that I got from Dollar Tree a few years ago at Christmas time and they were like Christmas themed maybe old maid and go fish type cards. And so I found one that kind of had a purple image, a purple color to it that might coordinate with this paper. And so I just used the fox and I just trimmed the card down just so I had the image and not any of the other card elements on there. So I got four of those. And then I used up the scraps of the stickers and the paper that was from my 10 on the 10th cards and got a couple little mini note cards just used the strips going diagonally, kind of layered them up, and then added a sticker in the center. So those would be good tags. And then I also made a little embellishment for myself. There was one sticker that said family photos, so it didn't really fit on any kind of card or gift tag. And so I just took a scrap of one of the papers that was double-sided layered up another scrap underneath it and then added my sticker and I it's not going to focus very well because I keep moving it and then um, just figured that I could always use this in one of my scrapbooks going forward. So that was the Christmas stuff and then as far as the journal cards went the cards from this I kind of used them in several different ways. I did some 12 by 12 scrapbook pages some of them I've shown twice now in my Stick Your Side of Crafting and in my Smash That Small Paper Pad because I used like pretty much all of the challenges that I was in this month I kind of used all together on some of those Easter themed pages. <coughs> but here's one I haven't shown yet. 
and this is where I used up the spring word it was part of like my miscellaneous spring embellishments so I used up the spring word and then there was a kite themed journal card in that doodle bug pack so I just decided the colors coordinated so I just decided to use that as my title and I cut a kite shape like a diamond shape out of some scrap paper in my stash and then I added some butterflies that were punched out of I had cut down some of the journal cards to use in different ways and so used the excess and punched shapes out of them and so the the butterflies kind of came from a, one of the journal cards as well. This one I showed in my stickier side of crafting video because I did use this from one of those sticker sheets but I also used a journal card here and just kind of fussy cut around the file like folder part of it and then this bird was I think sitting somewhere up here and I just kind of punched it out and then added it down here and then here is here are two more little miscellaneous spring embellishments that I used up out of that little miscellaneous pack of stuff that I had and then here's some more butterflies that I punched out of some of the journal card scraps that I had so again, like this has, you know, a stick your side of crafting and use it up element on it. And then these Easter pages have the smash that small paper pad, the stick your side of crafting and my use it up. <laughs> so these kind of covered three different goals of mine for this month. So this is a two page spread. And in the pack there, in the journal card pack, there were like some little calendar type journal cards and so I decided to use that just to note that Easter in 2013 was on March 31st so here's a journal card here is one of the Echo Park Easter bows I took them I took all the bows off of the paper clip and just used them as embellishments here is another one of the journal cards that I actually used for my journaling and this is one of those magnetic clips that I had from I think they were the eye candy clips I just added one of those to each page this is a single page spread and I used one of the journal cards kind of as my focal point and then this is a part of another one of the calendar journal cards and I just cut out like the date like you could choose the day the day of the week and you could circle the date or whatever so I just cut out the day of the week and then added the date in here and I also punched out the date to use so I kind of pieced together different parts of the journal cards here is another scrap from a journal card I just wanted the lines and then here's another one of those bows and then a magnetic clip so use a bunch of different use it up elements on this one here is another two page spread and on this one on this page here is one of the journal cards that I kind of cut down all I wanted was the to be able to show the date and a little bit of journaling here I pieced together like the month and the year one of the bows and then one of the magnetic clips and then as far as the rest of those journal cards here's how I use them I took one of the cards and just cut it down to fit kind of like a square bit on my card front and then I had a sun in my stash that's cut out of scrap vinyl so I just added that in the center and then put your awesome down here and there's kind of a fun cheery positive card and then here's one where I pieced together some of the scraps I had this is the rest of this and then these were two other bits that were just yellow scrap strips that I had from some of the other journal cards so I just kind of pieced those together to make my focal point added a your awesome sentiment and then here are some flowers punched out of other journal card scraps and here is one where I used the journal card as my background or my card mat and then I fussy cut out one of the flowers from one of the other cards I'm not sure which one 
So I just put it on here and then these were some of the stickier side of crafting stickers I had wanted to use up but I had grouped together. And then on some of the cards also, oh here's a sticker, some of the cards I had included some of the scraps on the insides of the cards as well to use help use up those pieces. And then there was one other journal card that I really didn't know how to use. And a lot of the journal cards, they were the same on both sides, just different orientation. So here you can see it's just a journaling card with an umbrella and some raindrops. And here it's vertical. And then when you turn it over, it's horizontal. So it's the same image, just different orientation. So here was a journal card that says, my favorite 10 Easter candies. And it was the same on both sides. So I decided that I would just take this card and I could let my oldest fill it out for this year. And that way we would have a record of what, you know, her favorite Easter candy was in 2020. But I wanted to use the other side too. And so I had taken some of the stickers from my Sticker Side of Crafting collab and added them, like took some white cardstock to cover up the title about the 10 Easter candies and then took my stickers one just as a definition of spring and one says what I love about spring to make another title for the journal card so on one side she filled out her favorite candy and on the other side she filled out her favorite things about spring so that was another way to use it up so that was the journal card and then I have a few other cards that kind of used up some of the miscellaneous bits and pieces that I had pulled out this used up three of the squares from Leaving Prints that I had pulled out. Just pulled out a paper, two different papers from my stash that kind of had a, a little bit of pattern to them, but were more like of a solid. So I don't know if you can see the detail on that paper. And then, so I used the three Leaving print squares that related to spring, as well as the Jolie's little bouquet of flowers added a thank you sentiment here and then down here at the bottom I added two flowers that or four flowers that were in my punch stash and then one of my stickers from the spring word sticker sheet and then here this one I used the last leaving print square and then this is just the bird paper is from my stash and then the green stripe was a scrap from my 8 by 8 dots and stripes spring pad that I used for the smash that small paper pad and then just added my sentiment. So that used up, oh and this was another one of my little bits and pieces from spring that I used up. So that was like my miscellaneous bits and pieces. And then I had done a scrapbook page using some of the flavor of the month kit pieces and it was like related to gardening and I wanted to go ahead and do another layout for my my daughter's album and but didn't have enough of the stuff from the kit left you know to use for it so I pulled out some stickers from my stash and these were the Susan Branch like gardening stickers that I had left and so I just used the journal they were like two border strips so I just used those kind of at the top and the bottom created my own little title here from some other scraps and then just kind of used the random stickers that were left. There were some mushrooms, there was an ear of corn, and then this little phrase, I don't know a girl bean from a boy bean. Weird, but okay. And then I ended up pulling out like a, oh this was from the calendar sticker sheet that I had so that was using the last one of that so that's how I used up those gardening stickers just documenting how good my garden looked back in 2013 wishing that we had that lushness right now in my bare dead garden so the last thing I used up this month was the flavor of the month kit and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on these because this is going to be a separate video but I just kind of wanted to show I made a ton of cards from this pretty kit and then I also did a couple of 3x3 three three post-it notepads and then this was the scrapbook page layout that I had started with using up talking about my garden and used up some of the the scraps from one of the collections so like I said it was a very productive month for using up my stash 
hopefully April will continue um, since we are all stuck at home. I'm really hoping to make some of the most of my crafty time. My girls have been crafting along with me, so we've been trying to tackle some new projects, try some new things, and use up lots of our stash. But I hope you all were able to use up some of your stash. Don't forget to share the pictures on social media or post a video here and use up the hashtag useitup2020 so that we can all see what you've used and give you a little cheer or a virtual high five. But I hope everyone's hanging in there. Thank you guys so much for your time today and I hope you're having a crafty month and we'll talk to you next time.